Alexander Mogilny didn't wait for the Iron Curtain to fall. A year after helping the Soviet Union to an Olympic gold medal in Calgary, Mogilny left Moscow to play pro hockey for the Buffalo Sabres. But this defector turned out to be a disappointment. Mogilny was seen as an underachiever who didn't work hard. He didn't like Buffalo, and he didn't like traveling to any other city for that matter. But most of all, he wasn't prepared to assume the role of superstar at the age of 20. Coming from one culture to another new culture, with just such a big shock, and uh, it's totally different. Everything's different, and you don't, you, you just can't imagine how I felt. Aren't we looking at two different Alexes from a year and a half ago to now? What do you see? Do you see this? Well, I see a more mature person. I see a person that's very relaxed. Um, I see a person who's who trusts his teammate and the coaching staff and the people surrounding him and he felt a little uncomfortable. I think that was his biggest problem coming from the Soviet Union. This season, Mogilny made up his mind and publicly committed himself to be the player everyone expected him to be. He's not disappointing anybody now. Mogilny's on track to shatter the Sabres' single-season scoring record held by Danny Gare with 56 goals. Now, Mogilny finds himself torn between success and notoriety. I hope people don't realize just how many goals I score and, you know, I try to have that in the back of my mind. Things like, oh, maybe a couple tonight. I hope they won't notice me. <laughs> Why? Why so modest? I don't know. I'm, I'm not ready for this yet, I guess. While it took Alexander Mogilny a full three years before he felt comfortable as a professional hockey player in the United States, it's in his personal life where he still leads a guarded and cautious existence. I don't let anybody become close to me, you know, because I don't want to get hurt and I don't want to hurt anybody. And I lost a couple friends here. Well, I, I mean, I lost a good reason, but they got traded, like, because, and it's kind of, I had got my heart broken. I mean, I sound like a little baby now, but, you know, it, I'm not used to that. And I kind of said, I can't have a friends on the team anymore because if someday I'm going to be traded or they're going to be traded, I don't want to, next couple days, walk like a bum out there, you know, and just, God. Why? Mogilny is able to now keep it all in perspective. His maturity has had a rippling effect on his teammates. He's inspired them and helped make them winners. Not only is he on such a torrid pace, but the team is right there too. And uh, when you can have team success and individual success, that's what hockey's all about. Team plays well, I start scoring, and uh, everything's doing so good now. It's Everybody likes it. You know, and just everybody having a good time, and I love it. I enjoy it.